Being fit is a funny thing and you know you can you can do a lot with technology to help you stay fit. We've got trackers and so many things, but a scale is also really important, right? Um, and the guys at we Things reached out and said, hey, we've got the Body Plus scale. We want you to check it out, make a video, do something. And I was like, ah, I don't know if you guys want to watch me get on a scale, get off, get on a scale, get off, get on a scale, get off. And what does that imply? But they were like, look, our, our skill does a lot more than just you stepping on and seeing your weight because it is incorporated in an ecosystem. That makes a lot of sense. So I said, okay, cool. Let's see how this fits into my own lifestyle and how it actually works. So uh, I've spent about uh, close to about a month or so with it. And I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and why this is very interesting. And also this might help you in your own lifestyle fitness journey. So, uh, as you know, if you guys follow me on uh, Instagram, I do a lot of Muay Thai. I, uh, I've been in martial arts my whole life. I've done karate. I've done some uh, judo, jiu-jitsu, uh, aikido, um, taekwondo is what I actually started. Uh, but there's a lot there to go with, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, so for me, I'm like, okay, how will I use this stuff to actually help me work out? So the, the center for the body plus skill and the, the steel HR plus watch, which is actually pretty cool here. Um, and it does work out really well, bringing in everything together. Now the idea of a skill, I thought, okay, look, I'll step on the skill. I see my weight and then I'll go, Hey, all right, go back to my trainer. Okay. I weigh this much. Let's. Let's do some more punching and kicking. Now he will love that, but it was not just that aspect. The scale really provides a lot of more information. You get on the, uh, the body plus scale, which looks like a standard scale. It's got a nice big screen. It's powered by four AAA batteries. What lasts quite a while. Um, in terms of just battery life, I have a friend who used it for like six months and like, pfft, we haven't changed it, but you get on that scale and it gives you all this information. So it gives you your weight, it gives you your BMI, it gives you your water mass, it gives you your bone mass, and it also can give you your weather, as well as the steps you took that day from whatever fitness tracker, which is actually pretty cool. So all that information is there, and it's housed in the WeThings app. Now the app allows you to add in all WeThings, you know, devices, so like the Body Plus Scale, as well as also the Steel HR Sport, which is what I'm wearing now. Now the sport I use while actually working out. So when I'm doing all my Muay Thai and kicking and punching, I actually have this in there. It's strapped underneath in my gloves. Actually lasts and works pretty well. Battery life on this bad boy is pretty great. Uh, I think it took me uh, three weeks before I actually fully charged it. And I work out, I've been trying to work out five days a week. Now it's about, it's about three to five days a week. So I track the workouts. And again, easy process to just turn it on press and hold. You can select your workout track and also it's a nice small screen for notifications and a few other things like that. But it's not really about the watch. It's about what that information brings into uh, with the body plus scale. So with that, it now calculates what your true weight is because you're feeding in all this information through the WeThings app. So it's connected via Wi-Fi, uh, the body plus scale. So which means it connects within the ecosystem and everything is computed properly. So you you start knowing, okay, look, I lost like, you know, uh, one pound today. Uh, was that water weight? You know, was that me gaining more muscle? You know, you can actually look at what you're doing and say, okay, I need to improve certain things. Now you've got a daily chart when you're looking at the app that you can go through, which is actually pretty nice. You've got like a timeline. You can actually scroll through and see where you are, see where your BMI is and all that fun stuff. And then you've now got your dashboard, which shows you exactly where you are. Steps you took, your sleep. Now I forget my sleep because I don't actually wear the watch to sleep. Um, my weight, current weight, my fat mass, as well as also my average heart rate for that day. Um, and you can go in and customize your food intake. Now, that's something that I just don't do. I've never really done, but it's something you can do with this here. The activity program. So if you want to do activity leaderboards with your friends, uh, there's also uh, sleep smarter trackers, different things to help you uh, use the ecosystem well. But what I like about this is that it also works with different applications. So if you're using like Samsung Health, that feeds in that information here. So even if I don't wear the watch and I'm working on my phone, my steps is still counted into this and it's also evaluated on my, my weight goals. So I have weight goal sets and things like that. So 
all that information is brought in. If you're using the Fitbit, Google Fit, all that stuff, you know, MyFitnessPal, that information is brought in, which is really nice. Now the scale itself, when you look at the scale itself, it's in, on the devices, you've got some really cool aspects of it. You can customize the screen to what you see. So for instance, you can see your weight trend, your weight, your fat mass, your model, muscle mass, your BMI, your steps, uh, bone mass as well, and then your weather. Now, I'm sure this is not accurate to the T because it's bringing in a lot of information and it's giving you estimation, but it's a really good estimation, especially if you're trying to hit setting goals. You know, the thing about fitness for me is that it's trying to stay healthy. Um, I know that I am not going to look like Thor or Superman. Uh, I mean, I can try and work my way there, but it's the journey. It's the journey and making sure that you are, you have tools that help you. And I like the fact that it does that for me here. And you know, the scale is, is something that a lot of people are afraid of because you're right, you step on it, you know, even if you went a night out drinking or you spend a weekend somewhere, you come back, you're like, oh my God, I've gained so much weight. But you step on this, it gives you so much information and that information is correlated across different avenues. That's why I like this, you know, from my fitness watch to even my phone, which is doing some tracking for me. Uh, and you know, things like that, that actually feeds it information and say, hey, this is where you are. And this is how this journey will lead for you to get to where you feel comfortable. So for me, it's, it's pretty cool. And it's only 99 bucks for it, which is pretty nice. Uh, so you can definitely go ahead and pick one up. I would suggest if you're into fitness or you're looking to stay healthy, this is a really good tool to use. Now, they've also got um, a, an active um, a portion within the scale, which basically, for people who are really into sports and like you work out every single day, uh, this actually tracks more precisely for that because you are going to be losing a lot of weight or you're going to be burning a lot of calories, you're going to be very active uh, for that. So that's, that's a, a small option in there. Uh, but I like it, I've really enjoyed using this. Like I feel more comfortable just stepping on the scale because like I know where my journey is. He tells me where's my journey. I'm like, okay, cool, I know where I'm going. You can see that graph and it's not just like, it's a number, right? And there's breakdowns to those numbers and it's really cool. Plus the Steel HR Sport is a really cool watch um, that, I mean, battery life wise, it lasts really long um, and it does all the fitness tracking, it's got a heart rate monitor, all that stuff built into it. Uh, and then small notification screen, but it's a fitness watch that I think does really well. Now, I haven't, I used it running a couple of times and it's fine, I don't run that much. So to people who are, might ask about run tracking and things like that, I think it does a decent job. Um, again, it's not something I do. I do more of a, you know, fitness all around workout with Muay Thai. So hopefully that gives you some idea of how I deal with my fitness and also how some technology helps me out, especially with the Body Plus scale, which is, I think, a really nice way to show how you can improve yourself. So if you have any questions, any comments, let me know, guys. Uh, if you're looking to pick up the Body Plus scale, use our link down below. Again, I think it's a really cool tool to get you to where you are. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.